Good morning and welcome to Title Talk. It's Monday, March 25th, 2019, and I have some good news about what new books we have to read. Here's just some tantalizers. We haven't quite finished processing these yet, but I know these are three books that you'll be very interested in and you can place holds on them right now. The Cliff House by Ray Ann Thane. David Rosenfeld has a new book out, Black and Blue. Uh, it is a Doug Brock thriller. And Christopher Reich has a new book, Crown Jewel, a Simon Risk novel. As I say, those will be coming out very quickly. We have a new fiction book by Jesse Blackadder, In the Blink of an Eye. And the boy steps into the day like he owns it, like he is, in fact, God, and has conjured this up with a sweep of his hand before breakfast. This achingly blue sky, this water dragon sunning on a warm rock to loosen her scales, cocking her head and blinking a yellow eye in his direction. He breathes a fast in breath, sucking the day into his lungs like nourishment, and considers his kingdom. Today, where and what? A limitless possibility of moment shifts focus of that moment shifts focus to something that ripples and dances, hurting his eyes with its intensity, beckoning. He steps out with a calm assurance, and as he approaches, the object of his desire fills his vision, calling him. This is just, it's not any specific genre of book, just a brand new book in the blink of an eye, Jesse Blackadder. Karen Robards has a new one, The Fifth Doctrine, and this is about Bianca St. Ives. Uh, says, it took an effort for the authorities to finally get the jump on master manipulator Bianca St. Ives, but now that they have, it's far from the capture she expected. Instead of taking her in, there's an offer on the table, a one-shot deal that would allow her to walk away scot-free as if they'd never found her. And all she has to do is one, run one last mission, the fifth doctrine. Memories of the Future, a novel. I can get my fingers out of the way so you can see by Siri Hustvet. Uh, let's see, this is also no specific genre, just a good read. It is a provocative, exuberant novel about time, memory, desire, and imagination. A young woman, S.H., moves to New York in 1978 to look for adventure and write her first novel, but finds herself distracted by her mysterious neighbor, Lucy Bright. As S.H. listens to Lucy through the thin walls of her dilapidated building, she carefully transcribes the woman's bizarre monologues about her daughter's violent death and her need to punish the killer. And then they, apparently the book jumps ahead 40 years then S.H. stumbles upon the journal she kept that year and writes a mem memoir, Memories of the Future, which of course then becomes this book. Here's one that's gotten a lot of press and good reviews, The Last Year of the War. This of course is historical fiction. It's by Susan Meissner. Uh, Lisa Wingate, the author of Before We Were Yours, recommends this book. Let's see if there's anybody else you might know. Kate Quinn, author of The Alice Network, and Fiona Davis. Uh, this author, Susan Meissner, has written Secrets of a Charmed Life and As Bright as Heaven Comes. This particular book, The Last Year of the War, takes place in 19, starts in 1943. Elise Sontag is a typical 14-year-old from Iowa, aware of the war but distanced from its reach. Then her father, a legal U.S. resident for nearly two decades, is suddenly arrested on suspicion of being a Nazi sympathizer. The family is sent to an internment camp in Texas where behind the armed guards and barbed wire, Elise feels stripped of everything beloved and familiar, including her own identity. The thing is, she makes friends with the Japanese-American girl who's also there, and that forms um, the heart of the novel. Joe R. Lansdale has a new one, The Elephant of Surprise. This is a Hap and Leonard novel. It's a mystery. And it says, in the latest roaring, rollicking Hap and Leonard adventure from Edgar Award winner Joe R. Lansdale, the odd couple PIs face off against a crew of mob goons bent on revenge. 
Hap is a self-proclaimed white trash rebel. Leonard is a tough-as-nails gay black Republican Vietnam vet. They couldn't have less in common except for the fact that they're each the other's best friend in the world. And this takes place in East Texas. And it sounds like it's probably a lot of fun. Andrea Kane, dead in a week. Uh, let's see who likes this book. Lisa Gardner, Jane Ann Krantz, Heather Graham, and the usual book review magazines. Lauren Pennington is celebrating her junior year abroad when life comes to a screeching halt at Munich's Hofbrau House. She engages in an innocent flirtation with a charming stranger for the length of a drink. <clears throat> drink finished, Lauren leaves only to be snatched from the streets and thrown into an unmarked van. <clears throat> and that could be trouble. <clears throat> Excuse me. This is a Forensic Instincts Zermatt Group thriller. And the last of our fiction books is Finding Katerina M. by Elizabeth Elo. And who likes this one? Joseph Finder, William Kent Kruger, Hank Philippi Ryan, and Jennifer Hillier. Uh, Natalie March is a respected surgeon, but her career has left little time for friend or romance. Her deepest relationship is with her mother, Vera March, a Russian immigrant and MS patient confined to a rehab. Vera is haunted by the fact that her Ukrainian grandparents were sent to the Gulag, Stalin's notorious network of labor camps, when she was just a baby. All her life, she has presumed that they perished there, along with millions of other Russian citizens. Natalie would do anything to hear, heal her mother's psychic pain. It's the one wound that she, a doctor, cannot mend. Uh, it looks like a young Russian doctor arrives on the scene and says that her grandmother is very much alive. So, Finding Katerina M. And then I have one nonfiction book. This is a really nice book. It's a beginner's guide to home sewing, and it has 50 simple fabric projects for every room. It, right now, it will be on the new bookshelf. It can be found at 646.2044. And the first three letters of the author's last name are NIC. It's by Gloria Nickel. Um, I can show you how to make a new pillow. A frayed linen tablecloth. <clears throat> Just all kinds of projects. Curtains, um, comforters, lap quilts, lampshades. So, a beginner's guide to home sewing. Hope you've enjoyed this week's sneak peek at our new books. Most of them will be ready for checkout later today, except maybe not those three by the hot authors that I showed you earlier. Have fun reading this week, and I will see you next week.